Hi guys, a few days ago I found myself thinking about why Second Life has been grabbing my attention for so long. Have you ever thought about it? Why do you log into Second Life? What attracts you most? And what are the activities you do on Second Life? Who are your friends? Who is your partner? In this video I tell myself. I share my story with you, but I would also like you to show your Second Life with me. You can do this in a comment on the video or my blog. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, activate the notification bell and put a like below. I joined Second Life 8 years ago after experiencing OpenSIM for a few years. In particular, I came from Osgrid, which still exists today and which allowed me to have sims without paying anything. All I needed was a server. For an Osgrid malfunction, I suddenly lost everything, including my avatar. You can imagine my frustration after years of hard work. So I chose to end the second life, where, coming from Osgrid, everything seemed natural, a piece of cake in short. Actually, but I found out later, it's not precisely in this way. Even second life is complicated if you want to work earnestly, for example, the creator who sell and earn on the Linden platform do. As I said, I came from a disagreeable experience. I had lost years of work on Osgrid. It was the crash of 2012. At first, I explored the location and shops. It was a new world, although not so different from Osgrid. Exploring, I realized that the art in Second Life was exciting and the creativity of the people was impressive. I wanted to be part of the art world, but not as an artist. I tried to promote it, you know. I immediately thought of a blog where I could share my virtual travels. So, virtuality was born and it still exists today. Of Second Life, I appreciate art, but also the creation of locations and environments. Lately, I especially appreciate this last aspect to the point of creating the cold rose with Van. I wondered why every day, even if for a short time, I enter Second Life and I want to do things. I think it's because Second Life is like a blank canvas that gives you all, that gives you all the tools to fill it. How you fill it depends on you, of course, but at any moment you have the chance to erase what you have done if you don't like it and start again. And this is exciting. Besides art and location exploration, I like listening to live music. I have met musicians and singers of great value who share their talent for the sheer pleasure of it. Some of them can even make money and that's great news. Finally, in the last year I have dedicated myself to photography. The aspect that intrigues me the most is the creative one, so I love making photographic compositions in Photoshop. Mixing, mixing real images with images captured in Second Life is exciting, especially because Second Life is becoming more and more realistic and this union of real and virtual is more and more credible. Okay, I've borne you enough talking about me. I invite you to tell me about you, your story, your experiences, your and impressions. Why do you end Second Life? What attracts you most? Say it in a comment. See you in the next video. Bye.